Hi, I'm Gary Lineker, and on Monday, the 7th of August, a brand new podcast is coming your way with me, Alan Shearer, and Micah Richards. It's going to be called The Rest is Football, and the three of us are here to tell you a bit more. So, Alan, Micah, why are we doing it? But first, actually, before we say why we're doing it, Micah, that's quite Oh, enough. yes, <laughs> come on, zoom in, zoom in the alpha. <laughs> Let me take you through this. You, know what I mean? indeed, indeed. you two have gone safe. Yeah, yeah, that's classic. That's fantastic. But well, he's gone safe again, isn't he? What safe. the fuck? <laughs> Hang on, is this, this is, is this, Tom, Tom Brown. Is it pyjama out <laughs> 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 This is what you call cool gear, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is, uh, they've got the pumps and then the, the socks you got to represent. Well, I'm glad you didn't disappoint us. Um, <laughs> but, but, you know, obviously we've worked together for some time now and we thought this was too good an opportunity to miss. And we all love football. We yep. love talking about football. We love having a laugh about football. And uh, that's what we're going to do, isn't it? I think the timing's right, isn't it? I think BBC is unbelievable, but it's only a fraction of what we can offer. We want more insight, don't we? We want the, the the stories. So I think it's a great time. You have a few stories. I've got a few stories. <laughs> I saw <have> you. Yeah. <laughs> and Mike has blown all his money all summer, so he needs the cash. <laughs> He's <laughs> on the house I've been paid for this year. How does this work? How does a new one work? Do we get paid before or after? It depends you how get we do. paid for this? Well, not as yet, no. All oh, right, okay, I was going to no, say. Yeah, How's it work? I thought it was for fun. <laughs> I'm sure you know this, but I've got the few podcasts in the podcast business and we've never mentioned why did you have before. to mention them and, top know, two in the, in the country is well, it <laughs> well, the, the rest is politics and the rest is history hence the name the rest is football um it's our brand in in a way let's so oh. and if we 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 need to get competitive though and and, and, and kind of put those two podcasts in there to place. be fair set some high standards though, are, aren't they are very good aren't they yeah how can we keep up with that Oh, Micah. Yes. <laughs> what, what do we yeah. need? We need to burst onto the scene. Okay. That's the well, first I've certainly thing. done That's that the, before. The first thing we, we, we need to do. Um, and, and, and actually, what we want really is, is to give football fans mm -hmm. um, regular podcasts, a couple of weeks at least, um, discussing all the big stories, the breaking stories, say managers getting the sack, big transfers, possibly someone like Harry Kane leaving Tottenham. Ooh, look <laughs> I've got my driver's hat ready, ready to take him down myself. <laughs> when do you want to lift, Harry? <laughs> what about you, though, Gary? You can have an opinion now, can't you? Absolutely. So, um, which, are you going to be talking nice. with us and having your show, sharing your uh, opinion? Sharing my opinion, sharing my stories, um, and uh, yes, which hopefully will be valued. <laughs> By both of you. <laughs> no comment. No comment. No, <laughs> no, no comment. comment at all. Uh, and also, we want to engage with 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 you, um, the whether you call yourself fans or just people that want to put up with our nonsense, uh, whichever way you want to describe it. But you know, we'll have Q and As, um, and we'll, we'll take on board your questions. And we want to do the whole football experience, don't we? We want to talk about what's going on at the time. We want to reminisce a little bit sometimes. We want to tell our stories. Um, our experiences, our knowledge of what it's like in dressing rooms. Um, and, you know, I think our podcast can be unique in that front because, well, you and I have a lot of experience and, and you have <laughs> youth on your side and you've obviously played with a lot of these now, players. How old are you now, Gary? Uh, I'm just, it's just a question. I'm, I'm, I'm 62, Micah. No, you're looking very well. And you? Somewhere well, aren't you? Summered well. You summered well. And I'm 35. 35, yeah. Al's in his 50s now. Al, what are you, Al? 53 next week. What day is it? What day is your birthday? 13th of August. 13th. Wow. Just well. before the start of the season. Wow. Yeah. That must, was, you must have played occasionally the yeah, opening day of the course, season course, on your birthday. Times, yeah. yeah. Did you score on your birthday? Or? Come on. I hated, I hated pre-season. Did you? With a passion. It actually used to spoil the last week of my holiday because I couldn't run. Yeah. Could you not? Everyone used to Have you ever seen him play? Of well, course he couldn't run. <laughs> yeah, but you're always a fit lad. You was in great shape, wouldn't you? I, well, I just, I, just, I just couldn't run. Mm. And everyone used to think I was taking the piss and being lazy because yeah. I was 30 or 40 yards further back from the group that was. And I was exactly the same. Was you? Yeah, I was exactly the same. I would, 
I was going to say well, we were sprinters, but <laughs> you weren't even that either, were you? Really? In my prime. Because I couldn't run long distance, though. That you need, you sometimes you did those cross-country runs. And I remember, actually, actually, it's the one thing I felt quite bad about during, during my career. We played at, um, when I was playing at Tottenham, after the World Cup in Italia 90, I was kind of shot. And we only had like a couple of weeks off and we, we started again. And we used to run this, we used to train at Mill Hill and we used to have this big area. We run around the outer perimeter a couple of miles and we had to do two laps. And on the first lap we started, and I was already kind of behind everyone else. I just couldn't do that long distance stuff. And, and I, 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 I actually hid behind a bush. I hid behind a bush on the first lap. And then when they joined me again, just as they went past me, I just jumped out. <laughs> And I was still last. Shut up. I was still last. And it's true, but Terry Venables got wind of it. And he pulled me into his office and he went, he went, Gary, that's that's not good enough. He said, and I actually went, Terry, I know, I'm sorry. I, I honestly I'm sorry, I should have done that. But yeah. I had my worst season that Who season. grassed you up then? I, I don't know to this day. You always used to, used to get the, uh, the all the fit guys who was like sprinting yeah. past. Used to laugh at you, and I used to show, get the fucking balls out, <laughs> <laughs> see how good you are. <laughs> what about you, Mike? Are you look at the size of me carrying this around the track? No chance. I was always last. Where? Yeah, I was always yeah, last. Yeah, but sprints. Like, sprints. I was always first. Yeah, so. same. Same. Uh, we've got something in common. Then we're all shit at running long distance. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you used to do during the summer? One summer, I went to uh, Iron Napa. And I just remember going there and I was steaming for the whole week. I was, I was, I was drunk. Do you know what I mean? It's your downtime, isn't it? Mm. You, have a, you have a few drinks and whatnot. But then one of the days I started feeling a little bit weary. And yeah. I can drink. I mean, I, I'm, I'm rarely drunk. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just felt like I, something wasn't right. And then the doctor came and it was when swine flu was uh, swine flu. Swine flu. Swine flu was rife. Do you remember? Well, Do you remember? You got swine so, flu. So, so we're all sat oh, here. So we're all, flu, in a, we're all in a row. So like, and we were six mates. And like, we're all feeling like ropey because we've been drinking. So the doctors come in like past and my mate goes and said, oh, you're fine. And then my next mate, he said he was fine. And I was in the middle, but I'm sweating. I'm thinking, please. Because like pre-season like pre starting the week after. And then he comes to me. And you know, like when he's got an assistant with him and he's whispering to an assistant, you just know full well, it's me. And then I had to stay there quarantined for two weeks. <laughs> swine flu. Swine flu. And then I was on the balcony. And then I was, uh, I just went to some fresh air and said, don't leave the room and whatnot. And then basically there was paparazzi just waiting for me. I had this big like tissue wiping my nose. <laughs> And then um, I got back to England. I was I was just looking for a house. And I remember I was going to look at Robbie Savage's house. Beautiful house. And he wouldn't let me in because <laughs> he thought like I was gonna like- Contagious. Yeah. So- But you'd uh, already done your quarantine. So I was in, yeah, I'd already done my quarantine. Oh. I've, I've done my quarantine for about a month, but that was one of my yeah. worst memories on, on holiday. Yeah. I was absolutely. <laughs> Oh, Which season cool. was that? Where were you at the time? Which I was at Man City. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Not so long after I exploded. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It looks like you've exploded this summer. <laughs> 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 do they not have any Come on, you can come on, come on, get a close up of these guns. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. By the way, do they not have any fucking irons in the hotel either? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've got more creases in that than your face. <laughs> do we do, to be fair, these shows are tight. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. 